hi it's me again now I don't know if you've seen my other videos where I'm having a discussion about the uh, coronavirus or the COVID-19 okay the scientific term and uh, right now okay I've already talked about some precautions that we can take personally uh, 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 of course hand washing is is the main thing uh, I've, I've talked about uh, having uh, the different things that you can use okay uh, uh, if you don't have hand sanitizer and vinegar okay I've even given some pointers for uh, licensed cosmetologists and barbers and so now I just want to sort of go over a little uh, let's take a look at the 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 virus from a scientific standpoint and straight up up front right now here uh, I am not in any way uh, offering any uh, uh, I don't know what do you call it uh, I don't know what you call it bad at not advice uh, I'm just going over this stuff in my head and I'm sharing it with you okay uh, what I'm thinking uh, about this virus from a uh, scientific standpoint okay that's all I'm doing uh, you know just like if we had a discussion about whatever okay oops let me put my thing back up here okay so can you hear me all right so look Oh, here, put it right there. All right, so this is the thing that I was going in my head. Now, I've looked up some information because I'm trying to figure out this virus, too. I mean, they haven't figured it out exactly. Or if they have, we don't know. Okay, so uh, this virus comes from bats. And... So I looked up, well, what do bats like to eat? And I also know that bats right now, uh, at least in the United States, I believe, the bats uh, basically are hibernating right now, okay? And I guess they'll start coming out and they'll have their little pups or whatever they're called, uh, July, August stuff like that okay uh, and let's see they like to eat fruits and insects and they also like to eat uh, suck the or something the pollen or something from flowers all right so what I was thinking is that uh, hmm. okay okay wait well before I get to that because I'm not sure I'm not sure about any of this I'm just thinking okay but uh, the thing that I did find interesting is that these viruses okay COVID-19 which is the coronavirus uh, come from bats SARS came from the bats and the the MERS uh, also comes from bats okay now when we look at okay with SARS it it wasn't worldwide okay but China did take precautions you they showed the people walking around with the masks and everything Okay, and see the thing about these, uh, the thing about these viruses is that they don't just show up, you know, they, they don't just like, you sleep, 
and then you wake up, oh my God, a virus. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Okay, and if you look up the history, which I did, of the different viruses like polio and, 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 and smallpox and, and, and the measles and those viruses that we have vaccines for now. Uh, when you look up the history, uh, some things jump out. And one thing is that the viruses, okay, this is what happens. Uh, and from the way I can explain it and the way I see it, my perspective, okay, is that there may be, okay, let's say one year, there may be uh, someone that, okay, I'm going to use uh, COVID-19 as the virus that I'm talking about. Okay, one year, you may have a person presenting symptoms of this virus, but you don't know what the virus is. You, you've, the doctor, they've never seen it. They don't know what it could be, whatever. The person either gets over the virus or they die from it. Okay, whatever, okay? And then uh, a year goes by. Another year later or so, hmm, two people die. Okay, two people get the same symptoms as that person over there. Okay, uh, over the, so now you see it over there. That, but uh, you know, maybe there's no connection. Okay, because that person may be in one part of the country, that person in another, or in another country, or whatever. So the connection isn't made. Okay, uh, and it may not be till in hindsight where they can go back and see, oh, well, this was showing up at this time and that time. Okay, so then, okay, well, the person, uh, they, they had a, a fever, uh, uh, shortness of breath, uh, 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 whatever, whatever, and they died in, you know, respiratory, whatever, okay. And so then the next year, right, you have three people over here two over there and one over there and they present with the same symptoms and you know they either get over it maybe uh, one passed away from the sickness the other two over there got over it or whatever okay and so then another year goes by and you've got four people over there two over there three over here one up there and three down there, okay? They're all presenting with the same symptoms, da-da-da-da-da, okay? So this is how a, a, the virus, a virus works, okay? It's not all in one day that boom, all of a sudden, okay? And so from what I read, what I read, I am sort of concluding on my own and I'm not saying that this is a conclusion this is a factual or scientific conclusion this is just a conclusion that I have come up with based on my knowledge or what I think I know okay uh, now if the doctors and scientists come up with something different okay I will listen to that and if it makes sense to me I'll say oh yeah okay I can see that okay uh, so, so anyway, okay, 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 back to what I'm saying. So, it doesn't just happen overnight, okay? It's, it, you know, like this COVID-19, it was a long time coming, okay? It was a long time coming, and they had the warning signs, okay, from what I can see. Wow, you, you had the warning signs, okay, but you didn't do anything, or maybe they didn't know to do anything. I don't know, okay, but... If SARS came from bats, if Mercer came from bats, and okay, SARS was in what, two, 2003, this is 2020, okay, whatever the, the years, however many years in between, okay, but to me, those were the red flags, okay, those were the red flags that, uh, because to me, what it tells me is that this virus has evolved developed, mutated, or whatever, and which they say that 
it has already like because there's one form of the virus that's uh, not as bad as the other form of the virus but they're both the same virus okay uh, so they already see it mutating or evolving or whatever it's doing developing whatever okay so my thing is okay where are the batologist or the uh, uh, migrationologist of batologies I don't know what they call it okay I don't know what they call it I'm just making this stuff up okay I know there's a, a real uh, name for it I just don't exactly know what it is so I'm making it up as I go along I'm, I'm, I'm putting a so you understand what I am saying okay so my thing is I, I would think that uh, you see that the SARS came from the bats you see that the MERS uh, came from the bats and now we have this that came from bats uh, my thing what I want them to do I know that they're rushing and, and and working hard to come up with a vaccine to help protect people from even getting the the, the virus and 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 to, to come up with a a, 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 a regimen of, of, of medicine to uh, uh, give the people for the virus uh, but uh, what I think needs to be done also is that there needs to be you need to get those bats mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because bats from what I read can carry up to like almost a hundred viruses I did read 60 I'm just putting juice on it I'm just putting ice on a hundred probably is a hundred okay so they uh, can uh, carry they carry a, at least 60 known viruses okay so that means you knew they carried SARS you knew they carried the coronavirus COVID-19 and the MERS virus MERS 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 okay yeah so my thing is go get those bats okay get the bats and isolate this is what I would think you need to do you need to isolate the viruses isolate each of those viruses okay and I don't know if you can study uh, the SARS from the corona and and where on the totem pole these viruses are you know what I'm saying like like when you isolate them like in the in the structure of whatever um, and I would think they would look at which virus is has more uh, a more advanced structure okay uh, some may have a low lower uh, structure uh, lower development structural structurally wise okay and some may have a higher uh, structure you understand okay so either way you get the bats you isolate each of the bats I mean isolate each of the viruses and then what you would do is uh, let me see what I would think you would do is now I'm not saying you have to uh, uh, study each of uh, well I, you do have to isolate the viruses okay now I'm not saying that you need to you know if you find 60 viruses I'm not saying that you have to come up with a vaccine or whatever for each of the 60 viruses okay uh, one of them you probably don't have to which is SARS and uh, or maybe you do it might come back okay but uh, what I'm saying is at least study those 60 viruses right so that if it does get to the point where it has evolved and developed and it's affecting the humans okay then I would say okay at least get it to the point where you know basically what you need to do okay uh, get it to the point where uh, you at least know what what you're gonna need just like if you're gonna make a cake you don't know when you're gonna make the cake but you know that you might need to make a cake you know uh, I don't know for dessert for a wedding uh, for just to have okay so 
you know that you know you're gonna need eggs you're gonna need milk you're gonna need butter you're gonna need flour you're gonna need sugar uh, you're gonna need some uh, you know vanilla extra whatever it is that you're gonna need for that cake right so you you have all the things or you know at least all the things that you need for that cake Okay, and so that's all I'm saying with these viruses you get those bats and you isolate those viruses and you look at well what would it take to uh, uh, what would it take if, if this virus became uh, a problem what would we need for that virus okay and, and, and then at least you've gotten half of the work done okay half of the work done is knowing what you need okay uh, <clears throat> and and so then that would give you a jump start or head start when you're trying to come up with a uh, a vaccine or a solution to uh, curtailing the effects of the virus okay that's all I'm saying does that sound too hard hmm I don't think so okay so that's one thing that I thought of okay now I'm going to tell you the next thing. Like I said, I have to break these videos up. 